Let's consider Rawls' ideas of distributive justice with an example. Imagine that there is a family, the happy family, and there's a husband and a wife and two boys. And they are twins, but they're fraternal twins. They're not identical. And let's say that one of the fraternal twins, little boy, is a beautiful kid. He's smart. He's polite. Uh, he's everything you would want your son to be. Let's say the other one is everything you wouldn't want your kid to be. He's rude. He smells awful. He's ugly. Uh, everything about him. He's really, really stupid. And the parents have raised the kids the same. They're born at the same time. And they simply have these different qualities. People are biologically different. Look, some people are beautiful. Some people are ugly. You can say everybody's pretty, but they're not. You can say everybody's smart, but they're not. Some people are smart. Some people are stupid. And so imagine in this family, the happy family, you have two brothers who are just by the lottery of nature very, very different in terms of what they receive. Now, Imagine that it's Christmas time and the happy parents have bought 10 toys to give to their children. They give nine of the toys to brother number one and they give one of the toys to brother number two. Is that fair? Does he deserve more because he's better? Because he's given the qualities that we admire by nature or not? Now let's imagine a second scenario. It's Christmas time, and the happy parents have told their boys that they want each of them to go off into the world, it's their 18th birthday, and to have a fair shot. And so they realize that one of them is endowed by nature with all the qualities that are likely to make him succeed. And so they have $100,000 to give their kids, and so they give him $10,000, and they realize that this other poor kid doesn't have much of a shot, and so they give him 90000 is that fair? Imagine a third scenario, that they create a set of rules and they tell their kids, come Christmas time, based on the set of rules that we create, we are going to give you the number of presents you deserve. And so we have 10 presents to give you, 10 toy trucks, and we will give them to you, not five and five, but rather, we're going to give you however many you earn, however many you deserve. Would the rules be fair if it said simply how hard you work and your chores, how many hours you spend doing chores? And so if each of them spends 10 hours a week doing chores, they get five and five. But if one of them spends twice as many hours doing chore work, the other one gets twice as many goods. Would that be a fair set of rules? Imagine that they created a set of rules They'll distribute the gifts at the end of the year. And it depended on their success, that the kids had to go out and, let's say, sell cookies. And whoever sold the most would get the most gifts. Well, what if brother number one sold lots of cookies? Should he get all the presents, even though brother number two clearly didn't succeed because of the natural lottery? These kinds of questions help us get at the logic of Rawls principle, the difference principle. Is it a just principle?